Hey there everyone, RogueFox here coming to you with a Minecraft tutorial on the new Minecraft Better Together update, or simply Minecraft. That's right, it has been released on the Xbox One, and it's going pretty good. There are definitely a lot of changes that have been made, and with this tutorial we'll be going over one of those changes. But, yeah, I'm having fun, it's a learning curve, and uh, this is definitely the learning together update because so much has changed redstone uh, cross-platforming stuff like that uh, minor issues here and there but it's all getting it's all getting worked out and I'm figuring things out as we go along so with that let's get right into our topic today so one thing I noticed immediately about the better together update is that the maps don't have coordinates anymore they uh, took those away and if you want to have coordinates in this version you can turn them on but it's considered a cheat so that disables your chances of getting achievements and everything like that and I didn't want to do that so I decided to play this without um, using coordinates and the next thing you may notice on this map is it is super zoomed in uh, I crafted this map with paper like usual and I did I did not use compass for this one because you don't see me on here but you can see my crop plot to the right of the map and the whole body of water right here and you can see the trail but um yeah one thing I noticed about this is uh, there are different levels of maps now to zoom these in this is completely new to me I don't know if this was a thing in pocket edition or on windows but um, yeah I found it pretty frustrating and it took me like a day or two to figure out how to make this work so this is what this tutorial is about um, like I said we are learning together so let's go ahead and jump right into that so here in the crafting table we have ourselves a empty map and an empty locator map so the empty locator map that's gonna be the one with the direction empty maps just gonna be uh, what I have here which you saw and one thing that I noticed was this, uh, I'm not sure what the map part means, but display markers, no, which means it's not a locator map. Scaling at 1, 1, level 0, 4. I wasn't quite sure what that meant uh, until I started playing around with it. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. So first of all, to craft ourselves a locator map, we go ahead, grab our paper, just go like this, and throw our compass in throw it in like that and we'll grab ourselves a locator map and so this should be the exact same map that I showed you guys so let's see I have this one and now I have this one and you can see I am now on the map but this is still zoomed in <laughs> and while I was playing this I was super frustrated I couldn't figure out how to expand my map uh, when I started the world with my bonus chest in my map I had a more zoomed out map and I was struggling I didn't even know how to get this map <laughs> so like I said I don't know if you guys had this on the pocket edition or windows but I finally figured it out so I'm gonna try to help you guys out a little bit so now that we have our locator map created um, I've also made the mistake while trying to figure this out I made a regular map without it that is just all paper without the compass in the middle um, there's a way to fix that so if we just go ahead and this is not also not in the crafting table options so I found this out myself too so if we put our map right here and then you decide to make a compass later on down the road we can just put one right here and this becomes a locator map and then there we go so now we have the exact same thing in both hands so now if we want to scale our map out Let's go ahead and grab our map. You can see it's scaling at 1 1, level 0 4. Go ahead and throw your map in the center like that, and then surround it with paper. And then let's pull this bad boy out and take a look at our new map. So this map is scaled out now compared to our first one, just like that. It zooms out a little more. And let's go ahead and throw it back in and scale it out one more time. Uh, there are four levels of scaling, which is going to be very costly on paper, so I highly recommend collecting as much sugarcane as possible. I've noticed the sugarcane takes a little bit longer to grow in this version, so 
I just recommend collecting a lot of sugar cane if you want to be making yourself uh, some maps. So let's pull this one out. So now this one is scaling at 1-4, level 2 out of 4. And let's take a look at it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely getting zoomed out. This is the size of the map I started off with, uh, but I died in a cave and I lost my stuff. So yeah, I had to make a new map and this is where my frustration began. And so I thought if I was having trouble, I'm sure other people were having trouble out there. So like I said, I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys. And let me just cut right next to uh, cut right next to the next shot where uh, it is max zoomed, so it would be level 4 out of 4. So let's go ahead and take a peek at that. Okay, welcome back everyone. So I went ahead and crafted that map just like I said I would. And just one thing I like about the Better Together update, or simply Minecraft now, is that we have infinite worlds now. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at this map. So this is where we started in our little small area and now if we zoom out this is where I'm at and you can see there is a ton of map to cover uh, it's awesome I mean there's a lot of places to explore and yeah I mean let's just go ahead and fly while we wrap this video up you can see I'm all the ground I'm going to cover I'm barely making a dent um, so yeah I hope this video helped you guys out I know, like I said, I was having trouble uh, crafting my maps, figuring out how everything worked, and it was just been really frustrating the last couple days figuring things out and seeing the changes, but I'm not going to complain. Um, change is always good. I'm open to change. Uh, don't want to be stuck in my old ways, my old Minecraft ways. I think it makes it a little fresh of how we uh, play Minecraft. Like I said, uh, it's definitely a learning curve. Uh, we'll be doing this together as we go on. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if you guys had this on the Pocket Edition or Windows, but we most certainly did not have this in... Oh, look at that. We definitely did not have this feature in the Xbox One Edition, so this is a totally new concept to me. So for all you Xbox One players, I hope this video helped you out. And of course, anyone else who didn't know how to do this, I hope this helped you out as well. So with that, I'm looking forward to learning new things, learning the redstone, and coming out with the tutorials to help us out, to see how we can succeed in the new Minecraft. So with that, this is the end of the video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Rogue Fox is out. See you later.